what I've seen here in Korea, especially um, as far as waste management, they're quite doing well. However, um, in my opinion, it, so many people didn't need to throw out so much trash. I feel really happy if I can influence just a little bit. I'm so happy I made the change. I wish I would have made the change years before. It's much better for the planet and, and for themselves. Hello, my name is Gosia and I come from Poland originally. I came to Korea six years ago and I'm working as a translator. Before in Poland, I really didn't know what is zero waste. It was just a um, way of living. Almost two years ago, we basically had to throw trash in front of our house and there was no like plastic or anything. I'm like, wow. What should I do with my own like recycling? So I just decided, well, I should not produce any trash, then there will be no problem, right? Yeah, so I started to research some more. How should I reduce uh, the waste that I'm producing here? Yes. When I came to Korea, I, I learned about zero waste from the internet, basically. My husband, he's typical Korean. Why do you do this? <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. Why do you bring your cup with you? It's heavy. You, you have to put it in your bag. And people think sometimes that it's strange. It's really uncomfortable to live this way. But they are very curious about this. For example, you know, after lunch, usually when you work in a company, everyone goes together to brush their teeth and I do have a bamboo toothbrush. Oh, uh, for the first time I'm seeing like a bamboo toothbrush. Why are you using this? Is it better for you? Where did you buy this? Maybe next time I will try this. First time I just used what I had at home. So yeah, like probably on baking soda, you can buy like a huge <laughs> package of this and you can use I use baking soda for everything basically, except for the toothpaste. So for deodorant, for cleaning, I wash my clothes with baking soda, especially the white ones. You know, girls, they talk about cosmetics or some beauty routines. So I always mention like, I don't use shampoo. And they're like, you don't wash your hair? I'm like, no, I, I'm using something else to, to wash my hair. You can see, it's, I think it's clean. My husband, he had his own shampoo, always using the same shampoo in plastic bottle. And he ran out of this and he tried mine once, the shampoo bar. And he's calling me later like, wow, it's the first time my hair is that, that good. It really like doesn't, like it looks really shiny and everything. Like, I think I will start using your shampoo also. I'm like, no problem. <laughs> Take as much as you want. I use bar of soap instead of those like few bottles like those scents like strawberries or anything. I don't need that. I have just a bar of soap that really does the work. You can use it on your face, on your body. You don't need like 10 different, different bottles, different scents. So, so I don't use it since like two years ago, I think, yeah. Oh, in my office, we do have like, um, you know, water filter in my office and there were like plastic cups attached to this. So everyone was just drinking water, throwing, drinking water, throwing. They didn't even bring the cup to their own desk and just drinking and throwing it away. And I have like a cute little cup with me. <laughs> that I use every day and I always go with my small cup everyone's oh so cute cup why why do you have this I'm like I don't like to I I don't use like uh, single use cups so I brought mine from home and I can use it all the time so they all brought like tumblers and their own cups 
Yes, uh, we are not using paper cups anymore in the office. If you want to buy zero waste uh, stuff, go to traditional markets. Really, you can find anything. You can buy peanuts, some dry food, some, some rice, basically those dry things. And also vegetables and all fruits are, are without packaging. So you can buy everything there. <laughs> So if you don't have your own bag, you can get one from the coffee shop and you can do your shopping, bring it home and you can return it later. So when you return it, you get like um, coins. It's made of bottle caps. So they press it and made their own coins that you can actually use as money. So you can change it to money if you get 10 of them, so you can change to 1,000 Korean won, or you can pay by them in other shops. Okay, so the part that I like a lot about zero waste is making my own things from old stuff. This is actually a bottle <laughs> bag that I made from uh, I made from an old shirt. I actually saw this idea on internet, so I wanted to try and do the, the same thing. So the shirt had a lot of holes, as you can see, there's some stitching here. It's really old shirt, so I made um, one bag for, for my bottle. Also, this is what I used to just do dishes. This is also made by me. It has some, you know, you can hang it to dry. It's really, really helpful in the kitchen. So this is made from organic cotton and those are soap savers that I use also when I have some soap scrap. This is just my deodorant. It doesn't look very good now, but it's made from four ingredients. It's baking soda, uh, it's cornstarch, coconut oil and essential oils. It smells like oranges and peppermint and this is product that i bought and this is a blusher but i use it for for everything so it's in tin case you can use it for your lips for as a blusher as an eyeshadow basically i have it always in my bag and this is a thing that i made from like some scraps and this is actually my zero waste set that I always carry in my bag. So I have fork, spoon, I have chopsticks here, and I have two straws, one stainless straw and one glass straw. So I always keep it in my bag and I'm prepared for any situation. If I'm going to eat outside or going to a coffee shop, I'm always prepared. My house is a so, my name is Kishel Boon. I'm the founder of Waste Up So. I've lived in South Korea for 15 years, and the last five years have really got me interested in the zero waste movement after moving back to Seoul. So Waste Up So is a zero waste company and we help individuals and companies reduce their waste or go completely less waste in their everyday and professional lives. We established Waste Up So last October, October 2018. Um, we were just a group then. We just went into kind of create a community of people that were like-minded and were interested in having a zero waste or less waste lifestyle. My intention for Waste Up So is to have kind of a local community feel. So every single corner store, instead of a convenience shop like 
uh, the typical 7-Eleven or CU style, you can have a waste up so shop. So you can get your basic needs that you need without any waste. I remember when I first came to Korea, I was a tampon user. Um, and I was very grateful that I ended up bringing my own because it was very hard 15 years ago to find tampons here in Korea. If you found them at all, you would have to go to your pharmacy. And there was only like six to eight count packs and they were quite expensive. I have since changed to the Diva Cup or I use the Organic Cup, that's kind of my, that's my choice. I was one of them. I was totally opposed to it. Um, I thought that it's something that's going to be completely uncomfortable and what am I going to do with that during out the day? It's going to be kind of weird, you know? Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. As far as water, I've seen that be a bit of a change in Korea. So here in Korea, we don't really have that problem. Um, you can go to your local post office. Um, a lot of times you can go to your local grocery store and fill up um, your water bottle. And I've been seeing that change a lot. Um, I've been seeing a lot less people walking around with a purchased water bottle. I think for those who think that going zero waste is expensive, it can be. Not everything in our shop is necessarily cheaper than when you go to the grocery store. But I do think that you don't have to choose everything that's expensive um, to purchase. Um, so I do think that going zero waste, um, or at least just purchasing your food items in a zero waste format, is totally doable. Especially if you're looking at it from the Korea standpoint. Um, you don't have to shop with us. But if you're going to buy produce, go to your traditional market. Bring your own bag. That's like the easiest way to do it. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't have to purchase a produce bag. You don't need to have like the latest 100% organic cotton shopping bag. Put it in your backpack. Put it in your pocket. You don't have to be, I guess, trendy um, and follow these kind of, you know, social media trends in order to be zero waste. I never actually visited the place where they can they do recycling. I'm planning to to do this, but yeah, Korea has some a lot of categories that you can recycle. So you don't put everything in plastic. You have plastic. You have like color glass, white glass, cans, uh, vinyl. So you can actually recycle the packages. But they do recycle it in Korea. The reality, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works. We do have um, like the bins for plastic, for vinyls, for cans, for glass at the back of our house. But I'm not sure if, if all of the people, they really do recycle and there are no fines, no nothing. No one checks it. <laughs> the food waste is changed to uh, food for animals later so the food waste is really going down 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 in Korea the amount of the food waste um, in apartments actually in some apartments you have a card or a key they count how much grams or how much kilograms you actually wasted in, in one month so for foreigners that come to Korea I can tell that the water stations are almost everywhere. You can go to coffee shop, you can refill your water bottle anywhere for free, basically. There are water stations at the subway stations or in coffee shops or in other buildings, in schools, whatever. You can just go inside and refill your bottle. This is the first thing. I think the public transportation is really, really good in Korea. You can go everywhere by bus, by subway. The buses are not gasoline buses, so it's, it's better to take a bus. It goes everywhere and subway. Yeah, for now it's just um, my journey, but maybe I'm planning to do some, something bigger because I take part in some workshops, some meetings, so maybe I should expand this platform, maybe create a blog because I can see that people are interested in this topic, they want to know more. It might be a good idea to expand a little bit more.
to more platforms rather than Instagram. If I plan to have children, if I will have children in the future, this is a natural part of our household now. So they, if I have children, they will learn from the beginning how to care about the environment. I hope it will come natural to them that they don't have to change their lives like we do now from the beginning, like from the basics. It will be just their everyday life.